Let's go ahead and open this and procedure. You gotta go with carefulness. Yes, I do a nice incision on the straps. And then we gotta remove this clips. We got more Mishimoto air fresheners. That'll make my car smell good too. Nice charge pop acquired. And we got some coppers too. Here we have the Mishimoto charge pipe. This one is made out of cast aluminum instead of plastic like the OEM one, so you can take a lot of boost. They also made a blow valve mounting, like a little remote thing, so it has like better flow. And then also I saw they added material right here. So you can add like fittings for intake temperature or meth injection and other accessories you can install on a nice meaty part on this intake pipe. Uh, we have to remove the upper engine cover first so we can gain access to the stock charge pipe. There's two bolts and then there's clips in the back so it literally just pulls right off like this. Now we have this side cover over here. We also have to remove that as well. I think it's just. Oh. After we get that cover off, we get one of those push-in fittings right here. A really big one. Goes to the valve cover. Take that off. I'm gonna move it out of the way like this. Then we also have a couple connectors back here already removed. Then we got the blow valve connector. So so one of these like let's see you have to like use a pick to move it up and then you can release it. So it's like a, got like a little lock to it. Yeah, you gotta push it up, then you press and remove. Now at this point I wanna go ahead and remove the blow valve hose. That returns back into the intake. Has this nice beefy clamp holding it on. A little bit charming. There you go. Go ahead and remove that. Then we'll remove this 10 millimeter bolt right here, securing the charge pipe. To the valve cover. Now I'm going to remove the coupler holding the charge pipe to the turbo and then we can remove the whole unit. Should be able to at least, I think. I don't know, I never removed this thing before so hopefully that's the last of it. These clamps are a little annoying to get to but they're not impossible either. Wiggle this out of the turbo, and I should be able to wiggle this from the bottom part over there and remove the whole pipe. Yes, success. <laughs> oh, gas. So, here's a comparison from the stock pipe compared to the Mishimoto unit. You can tell the Mishimoto is a lot thicker. They also redesigned the blow valve fitting so it flows better than stock. I think the stock one kind of like leaks and it's all like weird, so they like redesign this part so it's more efficient and then all the sensors go exactly as they would go on the car so they're completely interchangeable and everything fits right where it should be we're not gonna install the blow valve on the new pipe i already transferred the sensors on this side and then be sure to install the new supplied o-ring onto the this bracket or adapter piece and then it's gonna go. All right, I apply a little bit of grease to the O-ring so it won't fall off. Then we're gonna go ahead and install it. It goes clogged this way. Then we take the stock ball valve and put it back over here like this. 
We're going to have to use the supplied stainless steel hardware for this since the threads are way different. These are M6 by 1.0 threads. The other ones are like wood screws or plastic screws to bolt onto the plastic pipe. I'm holding almost 244 pounds. All right, guys, now it's time to install this, which is not the easiest thing ever. But let's see if I can manage to get it in one shot. Uh, even Big Boost has to use a ladder because my jib is lifted five inches. So it's pretty tough. I didn't record the actual position on the tube because it was really difficult to get it on. But you have to just like put the cu the couplers in like an angle so the pipe it's it's able to fit in there. The pipe is like made to fit exactly aligned with the turbo and the uh, intake manifold over there that it makes it like a very precise fit. So you have to like that coupler you have to make it face forward, kind of like angled. And then this one, you have to make it face back. So you're able to put the back on first and then squeeze this part in place. And then you position it and tighten the clamps. At this point, you wanna go ahead and secure this fastener that holds the pipe to the top of the engine. That way the pipe's secured in place and it's set where it needs to go. Now you can tighten these clamps. Then you can take the blow valve hose and put it back where it goes. I don't know if I should use this clamp or use the supplied Mishimoto clamp that they have. I'm probably just gonna use this one. At last, it's finished. Last thing I had to put was the heat shield back over here. Then the last part is the engine cover. So I wanted to show you guys the intake all installed before I put the engine cover on because you probably won't be able to see it unless you just look for the Mishimoto couplers right over here. All right, guys. The most important and best part of this whole build. Start up and see if we can hear the turbo spool. All right, Sharon's gonna do the honors and she's gonna try to film for me. Probably, preferably from the intake side. So see if we can hear the turbo spool at startup or something, whatever noise it makes. Well guys, the last thing to do on the Jeep is now actually test drive it with a camera in the car. I couldn't really hear much of a difference from outside the car. So let's go ahead and get in the Jeep, head home, get some food and test drive this sucker. It's time for the road test on the Jeep and see what it sounds like if we can hear the spool from inside the car. And also a very important thing, this kit, I don't know how much horsepower you can gain from it, but I do know from Mishimoto that you gain 30% more flow output out of this kit. So even if you don't gain a lot of horsepower, it's ready and you will need this in case a uh, tune comes out for this platform. You can make the most of it and not blow up your stock charge pipe. Like this plastic one, I don't think it will hold much more boost than stock. So hopefully one of these companies make a really nice tune for this thing. You're listening and you make tunes for jeep jl turbos please hit me up i'm really interested in working with you i need a tune for this thing see what it's capable of and i don't know see if it can get it any faster let's see if we can hear the intake from inside the car with the windows up
after I do some spool up. I can hear a little bit out of the corner. Now in a higher gear. I can actually hear the blow of a little bit faintly, but I can actually hear it. I'm gonna try it again. Well guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. I did try to explain as much as I could on this build process. It was a little technical at some points that I had to figure it out since it's a prototype part, but it fits perfect. The car sounds pretty good and I'm glad I have supporting mods. As soon as Saturn comes out for this thing, I should be ready for it and make the most of it without any failures. Thank you so much for watching. Please smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome content and check out Mishimoto. And they're smelly. <laughs> they're smelly penguins. They smell delicious. You like it, Sharon? I love it. And it's so cute. <laughs>